have a migraine from hell. I feel like I'm about to throw up. I had to come to school to pick up the last book I need for school. Now I have to walk to the nearest bus stop to go back home to try and make it to my chiropractor because BJ's still stuck at, at work. And I know it's not his fault. I'm just very upset right now because my head freaking hurts so bad that I want to cut it off. Thank goodness it's not even cold right today. Because if it would be cold, I'm not even prepared. I didn't even bring a jacket. I feel like I'm about to throw up. I hate migraines. At least the view is pretty. Yeah, look where I have to be. The one day that I have to walk home well, not walk home but i have to take a new bus route and i don't know where the bus is that's literally my bus right there nah wait for me <laughs> Dang it. i literally have seven miles to walk that's a lot to walk <laughs> and the one day i'm not prepared because i don't have my backpack i have my actual bag but at least i know that's my bus so wherever it stops that's where i'm gonna wait for the next one if, it, if i can't make it there let's go I missed it. There it goes. I'm gonna kick somebody. You know what? I'm just gonna stop at one of these fancy schmancy restaurants and get me some dinner by myself. Hold on, you guys. Ugh. Jeez. One time I decided to stop and get my book. The one time I decide to actually that I have to pick up, maybe potentially even walk home. The one time I have to, I'm gonna take this free freaking mall ride. That's what I'm gonna do because it's on 16th Street. So I'm gonna take it all the way towards where I can. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold up. So that mall ride, that one right there, that's going towards that side. That's gonna take me all the way closer to my house. So I'm gonna ride it all the way as close as I can to my house and then I'm gonna walk from there. That's what I'm gonna do. Y'all. I cannot believe, I literally think I pulled this crap off. I shouted. I didn't even think about this. This has gotta be all the times in California that we got lost and had to figure out a way to get back into a Metro bus to get back home. I don't know. Even my migraine kind of calmed down because that was actually very adventurous. <laughs> There's an RTD app with like the Metro buses here. I figured out that which bus stop I needed to be at from the um, school. And I just pulled up the RTD app cause I didn't know where to go. And as soon as I figured out what bus stop to go to, I was walking towards that bus stop and then I realized I was near 16th street. And here in Denver, 16th Street is like a, a strip where there's like nothing but like stores and it's like a shopping strip. So in that shopping strip, as you guys could tell, there's a Metro bus, but it's free. You know, your girl's middle name is free. So I'm like, we should have been here plenty of times and we walk home. So I think I'm just gonna take the Metro bus on 16th street free there's somebody in the back of me that's freaking me out hold on so i said take the metro bus on 16th street free all the way down to like arapaho or welton possibly welton because that's where we turn to walk towards the house which makes complete sense because now i am actually on 17th street and we live on 19th street thank goodness i don't have to walk a lot Matter of fact, I have to walk maybe two miles at the most. That's not too bad, given that I was about to walk more than eight. I kept saying seven, but I think it was more than eight. Your girl is happy right now. Yes, sir. And so happy 
that I'm actually vlogging out in the middle of nowhere with everybody staring. The only thing that worries me a little bit is that it is getting a little dark already. But I'm just down the street from my condos. It's nothing. I'll be all right. I just tried calling BJ right now. He didn't answer. So he's either packing up and getting in the truck already or he's really busy at work still. So. Now that I'm less stressed out about me having to figure out how to get home from school is that my headache is kicking back in. <laughs> migraine. Migraine life. Hashtag migraine life. Dang, somebody reeks marijuana. Okay, you guys, I made it. This is the back of the building. See, that's where we always go in towards the garage. That's our place right there. Up there where the lights are, right there. That's the building I always show you guys. That's the mural. Here's the convenience store. Let me get myself something to eat. Look this out. I just walked two miles in my dance go shoes. And I'm not tired. My head. I'm surprised I'm even eating. But I have to shove this down my throat because I just took a Percocet. And when I take those, they're so strong for me that I cannot possibly take them on an empty. Oh, how cool. On an empty stomach. Blueberry is my favorite thing on earth. So I was looking for a blueberry muffin. They didn't have one. So I, I decided to get these. Fig bar. This sounds healthy. Ain't nobody got time for that. I was able to get organized at work today. I put, put folders on everything that needs to be done. For example, procedures that need prior authorizations, prescriptions that need prior authorizations, prescriptions that need to be that I need to call the patient back on, or any subject and color coordinate it. Put it in folders so that if I'm not there, any of my colleagues can do exactly what needs to be done. No questions asked. I don't have to be bothered. We're back in the car. <laughs> back in black. I don't know. We just got out of my chiropractor appointment. We have the same appointment, same day, one after the other. So you guys saw my journey right now, trying to get home. I vlogged while I was lost and everything. Oh my God. Yeah. That's gonna be me. I know. So my Dr. Kincaid, oh my goodness. Anybody in Denver need a chiropractor, you have got to come see Dr. Kincaid. She is truly, so caring such a beautiful person honestly i love her yeah it Maybe doesn't feel like your... you're seeing a chiropractor i've been having a migraine already for three days straight four days straight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. since sunday and even though that chiropractic medicine doesn't completely take away my migraine because it's it's not actual like medicine that goes into my body. She well, does. But the medicine, you know, when you medicine that you're talking about, that numbs your sensory. You're not getting better. No, I'm not. She's adjusting you. She you, is. Yes, you're gonna get better. She she adjusts. First of all, every single time we come, we come once a week. She gives us an adjustment, and no joke, it's like, wow, you feel so much better as soon as she adjusts you. She cracks your neck. <laughs> it feels like she's about to like, right? So she sees me for anxiety and for migraines. She also treats me with um, como le dijo, como, trigger point acupuncture is what she called it. Ooh, that is nice. She treats me with trigger point acupuncture. And today she did my occipital or something where she puts literally, literally like needles in there, like by my skull, in the back of my skull literally the minute she did it i almost felt relief that's crazy how that yeah. works huh and then she also did trigger point um acupuncture on my trap which is like this chunk of the muscle right here like yeah. on she got me right here Ooh. yeah it's... and it i'm not gonna lie it does hurt because she do doesn't only do it to, like acupuncture for you to relax there with the needles like she makes you hold this metal 
thing and then she connects the needles and she runs electricity I guess and then while she saw BJ she put me in the next room and she hooked me up to this machine that basically stretched my neck out every 15 every 30 seconds would like pump up and it would stretch my neck oh really yeah and then it would keep me stretched for like 30 seconds and then it would relieve and do it again for 30 seconds and you know on and on and off every 30 seconds it felt so good after i see her if i have a migraine i get instant relief it doesn't go away but it's instant relief to the point where i can function again and i'm not throwing up and esto voy a servir los lunches.